Hey folks, today actually I'm just going to turn that light up. Now, if it starts blinking, I'll have to turn it back down. But today we're recording the first video about the Atom Smart Plug, but the first video on my new channel, which you'll be watching. Uh, pardon me, drinking, which you'll be watching this on, uh, which is probably going to be called Platinum Tinkers. So I'll put a video up on each that I'm splitting my channels up into three cooks, games, and tinkers so that you can sub just to the stuff that you want to see. And I won't do electrical stuff on the cooking channel anymore. This, though, is the Atom Smart Plug. Uh, Australian one, version two, if that wants to focus. No, all right, we'll keep it down here. Anyway, Atom is a great company. They make some amazing products, relays, light switches, plugs, uh, garage door sensors, everything like that. I've labeled this one. And you get them either pre-flashed with Tasmoda or SP Home, which makes it super easy. They're also incredibly well spec. So this is actually... Uh, Oh, there's that light doing that thing, so I've got to turn this back down and replace that driver at some point. So if this ever wants to focus... Oh, is this just not auto-focusing these days? There we go. So you get a bit of the idea of it there. Sorry about the background noise, I've got a big power supply up ahead. Now, the issue with these, as good as they are, they haven't got the full cut for a 15 amp plug, which would be awesome if they did. But also, unfortunately, there's a bit of a... Uh, engineering problem with them. I'll see if you can figure out that out there. You have to know a bit about Australian electronics, I think. But I've reported this to them, and they've sent the issue straight to the engineering team, and they're going to address it, apparently. So I got an email back within a few minutes saying, uh, yep, this is an issue. We've sent it to engineering, and then I got a PayPal refund. They didn't even question it. They don't want them back. Um, but I think that's a very good ethic. So, I wish I wish that these were a bit better. I'm using them for all of my overhead lights. Um, let's let's show you. Let me grab a extension cord. A fresh power board here. So yeah, I, I really like the stuff that this company makes. I think they are, are a genuinely good company. Uh, so you get the ESP Home flashed one. Then. They come with the web interface pre-configured. I'll send you a screenshot or I'll put up a screenshot, say, here. Of what it looks like. Uh, similarly, they put up the YAML file on their website so you can grab the existing config. They tell you what's plugged in to what pin, everything like that. They're essentially completely open source, which is great. Uh, they've got a pile of spare pins in there. There is a little indicator light, so here... I plug this in and we refocus up here. God damn piece of crap. Oh, my phone stopped recording in because I overheated. So I'm going to be super quick here. You can see it's there. It's still turned off. And it, uh, it's got some voltage. So, long story short, if you didn't catch it before, it's fused on neutral. Not on live. Uh, that causes a potential for fires, death, everything like that. If this is in a metal enclosure, like my big lights overhead, and uh, it shorts to the chassis, it could, you know, make my whole shed live. It's really bad. That is turned off now. Besides that, these are a great product. I wish they had a USB port. That would, oh, where are we? USB port would definitely make it even more awesome. And I wish they had the full cut so that you could fit a 15 amp plug. I have suggested these things. I said at least if they remedy where it's relayed, sorry, I think I said fused before because I'm so hungover today, uh, and then put the full slot. They are rated for 3,800 watts and they have a 16 amp relay in them. So yeah, good product. They're also energy monitoring. I forgot to mention that too, I think. Uh, really accurate, pre-tuned for Australia. You don't need to calibrate them or anything. It they work a treat. I'm so impressed with this product and the company. So I'll leave a link below. Don't purchase these until version 3 where they've got it fixed unless you want a death box. They are so dangerous unless you know what you're doing. But all their other stuff's awesome. So yeah, check them out. See what you reckon. Stay safe. Enjoy the new channel. Like and subscribe, please. I'm going to need a lot of encouragement for this new channel. Uh, have a great Sunday. Cheers.